guys, it is April from Getting Cocoa With It. Today I am bringing you the end of the year book tag for 2018. I've never done this book tag before. I also wasn't tagged, but I'm just going ahead and doing it. So stick around. So the first question for this tag is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? And yes, I have two. One of them I'm kind of embarrassed to say I've been reading since I think the beginning of the year. It's tiny. I have maybe like 10 pages left. It's When Things Fall Apart. Heart Advice for Difficult Times by Pema Chodron. Um, I have had difficult times this year. Um, especially at the beginning of the year. That was like the hardest start to any year I've ever had, I think. Um, so I started reading this. It's good. Um, I know that it's very deep and knowledgeable and all of those wonderful things. Uh, but for some reason, I haven't been wanting to pick it up. I think I've been just wanting to pick up more fiction to like kind of escape. You know, when things get tough, you just want to escape everything. <laughs> That's kind of what happened, but I will finish this before the end of the year and it should be insanely easy. I think like I'm on page 126. Uh, yeah, there's like 150 pages, 25 pages, April, you can do it. Uh, the other book that I started and then stopped because I got kind of consumed, all consumed by October reading um, is Transcription by Kate Atkinson. Now, I read Life After Life this year by Kate Atkinson, which was my first um, novel by her, and I absolutely loved it. I even started this a tiny bit, uh, 50 pages in, and I was really loving it, but I just got distracted by like horror books and other books. So I'd really like to finish the year off by finishing this book as well. So good, World War II, about a, a woman in World War II who works as a kind of spy. She's working for a spy agency, essentially. She's she's doing a lot of typing though. It's not like she's in the field, at least so far. She's just mostly doing some typing and helping the British find um, people within England who have like Nazi sympathies. They're trying to stop um, any plans from moving towards these people who have these Nazi sympathies to the Nazis themselves. So they're, they've got spies in the middle pretending to be Nazis uh, to stop it, to stop the train of conversation essentially uh, from continuing. And it it's really good. She's such a great writer. So I'm definitely going to read this by the end of this year. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Yes, and I'm reading it at this moment as I'm filming it. I'm reading The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell. Laura Purcell just came out with a new book called The Corset, uh, which is meant to be a lot like Affinity. But in any case, I'm reading The Silent Companions and I'm really liking it. It's very gothic. It's about a woman who's widowed incredibly early. Um, she was newly wed and her husband died very suddenly um, and she's pregnant with their baby and she goes to the house that they were supposed to go and live together at. Um, where I think he grew up there. He obviously had ties to this home and it's called The Bridge and when she gets there the house is like I don't know. It's not it's not as lovely as she wanted it to be, that's for sure. And she's finding these wooden figurines uh which are much taller than I thought they would be. I thought in my head that these figurines were going to be like this big, but they're actually like I think they're meant to be like child size, which that's really creepy. And anyway, these figurines, one of them looks like her and the eyes follow her. There's just a lot of creepy stuff going on in this book and I'm really liking it. So I'm going to continue that for sure. Perfect transition from autumn to winter. I'm, I'm very happy. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? Absolutely there is. There is Diane Setterfield's new book called Once Upon a River. 
the cover of this one, I wish I had it. Uh, I am hoping to get a copy um, of this from Penguin. Um, so fingers crossed. Uh, but the cover of it is beautiful and it's about a, a very small town and one night someone rushes into, I believe it's a bar or a hotel or something along those lines, with a child that's dead or dying and the the story takes off from there. Even that just that beginning is almost all I need to know about it and Diane Setterfield wrote uh, the Thirteenth Tale, which I really enjoyed. I read that last year in 2017 and I really enjoyed that. So I did definitely like to pick up Once Upon a River, which is coming out in December. I forgot to mention that. Uh, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So first up, I mean, of course, transcription. That's got to go down for sure. I would also really like to read Half Spent Was the Night, which is by Amy McKay, and it's a small, small little book about a group of witches uh, who get together right after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's, and they sit around and tell each other ghost stories. And I, it sounds so magical. I'd really like to read that. Um, another book that I'd like to read is The Bear and the Nightingale. Everyone has read The Bear and the Nightingale and I feel like it's so beloved and since I've gone down this little like Russian rabbit hole I've been reading a lot of Russian specifically Russian nonfiction for some reason I don't know what's taken over me but I'm totally fascinated and now I'm starting to want to read it in fiction form as well so The Bear and the Nightingale I believe a lot of it is very fairy tale inspired and specifically Russian fairy tale inspired. Sounds great and if I like it I know that the sequel is already out and I think that there's a third coming soon. Like very soon? Anyway, so those are the three that I would personally really like to read before 2019 is over. A lot of them are very Christmassy. You know, I can't help myself. Is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Probably not. I, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like hopeless or like not, I don't want to sound like I'm not enjoying my reading. I'm loving my reading, but I can't imagine another book coming into my life and knocking off the book that is my favorite of the year, which I'm not going to tell you because you're going to have to watch in January when I do my best of uh, the best books that I read in 2019. I'm not telling you now. I'm not doing it. Have you already started making reading plans for 2019? Yes. Yes, I have. I am all over my goals. I just did a video recently about uh, me like reviewing my reading goals for 2018 which was really enlightening and really interesting for me to, to do so I definitely know that reading goals are my jam I'm definitely doing that again this year for 2019 there were a couple of goals that I failed at for my 2018 reading goals and one of them was self-help I I have really struggled reading self-help and I had wanted to read a lot of self-help this year, I wanted to read like one every month, one or two every month, and that really didn't happen. And I think that I would benefit from that. So um, I, I really want to kind of look at my reading goals and maybe add that back in. I've also got like a ton of authors on my shelves that I haven't read yet. And like some of them I have multiple books, like Donna Tartt, I have all of her books. She wrote three books, I think. She's written three books so far. I've read none. So I, I have a lot of those kinds of things on my shelves and I'd like to kind of sort that out somehow. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of thinking about 2019. I'm almost already in 2019 in my head. Like I'm really so excited about the new year um, and all of the reading that I get to do. This was the end of the year book tag. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please feel free to do this tag. I was not tagged by anyone. 
I have no idea who has done this tag and who hasn't. So if you're watching this and you are in any way interested in doing this tag, I tag you. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you soon. Okay, bye guys.